We're at the Spalding Hill Road Bridge. This is where Silver Creek flows into Big Green Lake. Some people refer to the backwaters, the wetlands, the estuary is a popular term. Two for the area of water, that's the shallow portions between Spalding Hill Road and County Road A. It's kind of a, a weedy, marshy area that's very important to the lake as far as fisheries and water quality, but it does have some uh, problems too because of excess weed growth. And that all is attributed to phosphorus coming in from the uplands. Silver Creek is 11 and a half miles long. It flows through the city of Ripon and through Fond du Lac County, a lot of agricultural lands. About half the water draining into Big Green Lake comes through Silver Creek. It drains approximately 30,000 acres and the acres are about the size of a football field. So 30,000 football fields worth of runoff is coming through this creek. Silver Creek is a large issue mostly because of its large watershed. This one stream is draining half of the land running into Big Green Lake. So naturally that's going to correlate to half the pollutants coming in approximately. The watershed is just anything that's uphill from here. So anything that lands from the rainfall up there is going to carry with any loose dirt or particles, pollutants downstream. It's going to land in a road ditch somewhere eventually and get washed into a smaller stream, into a bigger stream, and eventually end up in the lake. Ripon's about four miles away and has a population of about seven to 8,000 people. And all the storm sewers in the entire city eventually discharged to Silver Creek without any type of treatment. The storm drains you see along the curbs where all the rainwater runs into, those go just into a concrete pipe and then are discharged directly into Silver Creek. It never goes through any type of filtration system or water treatment. So whatever you have on your sidewalks and driveways, your oil, your salts, uh, spilled fertilizer, all that ends up directly in Big Green Lake. The primary source of the phosphorus is going to be uh, fertilizers, but there's also naturally high uh, phosphorus levels in the soils throughout Wisconsin. So most soils don't need a whole lot of phosphorus put on it. So just natural erosion from stream banks brings a lot of phosphorus into the system. And just recently we teamed up with Fond du Lac County, which most of Silver Creek lies in, and we're working on a project where we're actually walking every mile of stream, trying to look at stream bank conditions and where runoff's coming into the stream. Because we really need to break down the watershed, a huge watershed that's 30,000 acres, it's hard just to pinpoint where the problem is. So we're really trying to break that down into small chunks and find out, okay, this six acres here is a problem or this 10 acres here, and just do bites at a time until we can really get a handle on the pollution running in. This estuary between Spalding Hill Road and County Road A is a huge filter system, mostly because it can support the plant growth that we need to absorb those, uh, those nutrients. Otherwise, Big Green Lake itself doesn't have a lot of areas that can grow plants because it's just too deep in most areas. So what happens instead, you end up getting algae growth in those deep water areas. The amount of time water spends in a lake is called the residence time. And basically, if you think of it, if you completely drain the lake and just let the streams fill the lake on its own, it would take Big Green Lake between 22 and 27 years to fill up. So the implications of that is if a pollutant goes into the lake, it could be more than 25 years before that pollutant is washed back out. 25 years can seem like a daunting task, but the first task is to try to slow down the pollutants coming in. We've got to kind of stop the bleeding, and then we can start working more on in-lake management. But until we stop the influx, the excess pollutants coming into the lake, it's really a, a hard battle to fight in the lake itself. So it's really important that people, you know, what they're doing on the land, pay attention to that and know what their effects are on the lake.